Hi, Suzanne and Darren. How are you? Very Good. well. Thank you. Lovely. So the two of you have worked together a few years, just a few. So what do you like best about working with each other? Well, um, for me, what I like best about working with Darren, uh, he smells good. No, I'm just kidding. He is just incredibly talented and funny and uh, always present. And I adore that guy. Unfortunately, we didn't get to work together together this time around. Yeah. But um, I, I admire him very, very much. And he's a dear friend. So you've taken, you've taken not just the words, but all of the words out of my mouth. My <laughs> dear Suzanne, this is the most joyous, talented, versatile, funny uh, performer uh, and uh, everything about her. Uh, I, I would just say the same thing. There is no one favorite thing about working together. It's just the fact that we get to work together yeah. blows me away. It just blows me away. I saw Suzanne on stage before we ever met. And then I got to work with her on the pilot of the original Fairly Odd Parents. And yeah. I didn't put two and two together at first. And then I realized, I went, oh, <laughs> she was in Forbidden Broadway. I mean, she had already knocked me out. She had completely oh. knocked me out. And she continues to, to this day. It's an honor to be anywhere near her, but to work with her for as long as we've been able to work together. <laughs> Is what are you talking about? I'm the luckiest boy in the world. <laughs> okay, so Suzanne, I read that you get a lot of people attracted to you as Wanda. Is that true? What's going on with that? <laughs> well, I think she's incredibly sexy. It might be the pink swirly hair. I don't know. Or it's probably my dulcet tones. Mm. I soothe them into loving me. <laughs> okay, so now I'm curious about some fan reactions that really stood out for you over the years as Cosmo and Wanda. I'm sorry, I I, I misinterpreted oh. or misheard. <laughs> some I don't want to answer the question though. I thought I the way I thought I should answer the question. Sorry, go ahead. No, I want to know what question it is, and I want to know the answer to that. <laughs> that, that I feel like more interesting answer from that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just ask you about fan reactions that really stood out over the years. Oh, wow. I remember, uh, I remember being in Las Vegas for my uh, dear friends. It was Jack Thomas. It was Jack Thomas's bachelor party. And Jack Thomas was a writer on Fairly Odd Parents and, and has a writer and producer on many other shows. And uh, I must have done the Cosmo voice while we were at some swanky dinner. And this uh, family of four came over <laughs> because the, the, the kid recognized my voice and, and they were all upset and say, even in Las Vegas, come on, you know, <laughs> this isn't, party isn't even about you. Let's come on, get back to the whole, what's happening here. <laughs> and then I actually, my real voice is like this. So, you know, I go to the grocery store and people just love it. No, I'm just kidding. I. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do that though <laughs> do you ever use the voices in different places <laughs> um oh sorry Darren. uh no uh and i would i would say that nobody expects either of those voices to come out of our heads so it yeah it's sort of it's sort of shocking yeah <laughs> and i just I just use the voice to sing myself to sleep. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> so on a more serious uh, note, what are you looking forward for people to see this season? Actual talent. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking forward to seeing, seeing these people, these live action actors and performers sing and dance and and they're the real deal. These are, this is Broadway people uh, on this show and it's, and I've seen very little of it, but what I've seen is, is tremendous. I mean, it's really fun. It's, it's great. Pa the pace is the same. The timing is the same. The, the characters are different, but they're all really well-defined and written and performed to a T. It's great fun. 
So I'm sure you're asked this all the time. I'm going to ask anyway, if you could be granted one wish, what would it be for both of you? If I were granted one wish, it would be dropped into an animated series and become animated myself. Oh, that's interesting. And Darren? Mine is a pretty uh, pat answer to that question. If I had one wish, it would be to fly. It would just be so, it would just be so cool and completely unusual to go, oh, I think I'll go to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So what have the two of you been watching lately that you've been really into? What have I been into? Th this I don't know what it says about me. And um, <laughs> I watch a lot of murder shows <laughs> and, and documentaries about cults. That became my pandemic weirdness. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <sighs> we have been quite a bit here. Uh, yes. Uh, everything from English baking shows to uh, worst roommate in history, uh, usually serial killers. It. Yeah, that's it. there's some good ones in there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, buried in the backyard. Yes, I think we're in the same same category of uh, of what we really want to escape to into TV land. But there's so much great stuff on right yeah. now. It's the this is a real golden age for the film and TV production. Yes. And it's great to still be in it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, thank you both so, so much for the art that you bring into the world. I really appreciate it. I hope there's a season two of this show and more of the two of you. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Thanks, thank Leora. You. Our pleasure.